Well, hey, lovely friends. How's everybody doing? All right, you guys. I told you I needed <laughs> these binders are not keeping up to my lifestyle <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now, I don't know when this, when I'm going to post this video. I'm making it on the big camera for you guys. So we have much, much more um, of recording space for you. All right, the fact that everything didn't fall out right there, I'm calling myself a winner. Okay. All right, so these, like this binder, um, is from Dollar Tree, you know, a dollar, but I keep my binders on the floor, and when I pick them up, I grab them by up here, and see that? It ends up getting a soft spot where I'm always grabbing it, plus I'm closing a one-inch binder over much more than the one-inch, okay? So that's why I'm replacing this one. And I will make a new sticker for the front. Like these. This one's a rainbow one. I'll make a new one. That says my overlays. Okay, so I definitely think this one also, or this one. Let me take Avery out of here. Mary Avery, you're goner. This is like a salmon color, kind of. It's really pretty. So, the nails I have on right now, you guys. You guys, I just recorded that and I'm uploading it. I just don't know when this video is going to go up for you. But in that video, I was telling you guys that while I was at Mom's for her birthday... Um, we went to Target and they had a bunch of these super uh, durable D-ring, which I love a D-ring, um, binders for like less than 50% or more than 50% off, L like anywhere from $1.40 to like $1.90, which is a fantastic deal for these and the only thing I'm a real stickler for when it comes to my binders is I like them to be colors because then I know that in this like whatever salmon -y color is going to be overlays right even though it'll have a sticker on the front that tells me and I'm going to also put a sticker down the side my friend um, nail friend Amanda M had me make stickers for going down the, um, like the binding for her. And I was like, what? That's a smart idea. Cause then you can see it from both parts. So the D rings in my opinion are better because they stack up nice and you don't deal with that rounded bit. It's not trapped here and they should open nice and flat. Now, in the planner world, they say to always use your things here, and it'll help these from getting loose. I don't know if it's true or not. I try to remember to do it, and I suck at remembering to do it. But that is one thing that always happens to me, is the bottom one will get a bit loosey-goosey, because I tend to use the bottom one to pull apart. So, if I could remember... To do that we'd be in real big business right okay so first we've got my partials pages and these are actually worked down pretty good since I'm making myself use my partials up and I'm just flipping some of these to the front is all Okay, and then the second page 
is all of these Sally Hansen ones, the overlays that give you that antique look that I L O V E and the third page is like the black ones and these are white snowflakes so they're just the like you know standard nothing fancy and then I just have this little page break between um, partials and fulls so in the back is in cocoa colored overlays and then I just have a sparkle um, hollow one back there a full sparkle that I got from Danelle's and then this one has um, champagne sugar glitter sweet raise the roof and fancy pensy because they're so fancy. I won't go through and name everything, you guys, but you get the idea. I definitely have them organized. And as I went, I also tried to work in extra space for the anticipation of springtime sets coming and you know if I need to do a little rearrange and then that's fine too and I do keep mine back to back which I'll show you here in a second now these are just out and out um, sheer sets that you can lay over other stuff to play with the colors. There. Alright, so now now it's beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. And there's room here for much more sheer if you're listening fa. And then these are all just the our normal black ones. And then this I have built in space for it. And one of the gals, I want to say it was Cindy from Sassy Crew was telling me um she put little velcro bits at the top of hers. And that would totally work. And other than when I do these videos for you guys, I never have a problem with sets falling out the top because I leave my um, binders upright all the time. And normally when I would lay them down, I would have something behind it to leave them propped. So like before I would use my little garbage pants, now I'll use this. And it's, um, the silicone has enough of a grip and we'll leave everything, you know, upright enough. I just don't lay them down flat other than when I'm, you know, touring with you guys. And this whole page here is secret identity sets. And then on the back of it is glitter dipped. This is over the moon. I know that one's hard to see with the white. And I do have my Ann Coco's in here with them because it's literally no different. Why is that like that? What do we got going on here? Love potion. That only leaves me one spot there. That's not great because we'll get more than one, I would hope. Okay. And these are like full cover glitter, sparse glitters. The 
loves of my life. And I love plenty of room there. Oh, gosh. Come on with this. I mean, come on with it. It's beautiful, you guys. It's just beautiful. Okay, so let's see how this looks then as far as getting the clothes. Oh, yeah. I can already tell it's going to be so much better. Oh, look at it, you guys. Girl, it's got room to spare. Oh, I'll take care of that. There we go. And so then when I reach down for them, I just reach between the pages and squeeze them like that. All right. Let's do this one is very out of hand. This is the art and seasonal. And this one we're also going to do um, in a two inch because it's way, way ruckus out there. Now the thing with the arts and the seasonals is basically... I don't ever um, have much of a hoard, if any, of any one set. I usually get, you know, one-ish of most of the sets. Like, unless I really, really don't like it. <laughs> okay, let me get this. Let me set it over here a sec. So art and seasonals. And I've got a bunch in here. <clears throat> now this is a bunch of partials. I wanna feel like I added some extra pages to this, but I don't remember a hundred percent. Okay, again, this was a dollar store one. Love this color. These dollar store ones, you guys, I think are perfect if you're just starting out in the binder world, you know, or just even in the color street world. Like you don't, if you don't have um, tons to have to put away yet. <laughs> just wait you will <laughs> but if you don't right now this is a great way to go and these are my color flash ones oh they're so pretty look at this one it's like all different color rusty color leaves rolling around Does anybody, is anybody here old enough to remember Jula Moomba? Or not Jula Moomba. Um, oh, Biscuit. Hang on, let me think. Son of a. It was one Marcy loved. And it was like silver and black. Somebody will know. Oh, shit. I can't remember the name. Okay. Pop that open. It'll come to me. And when it does, I'll share. Okay. So these obviously are seasonals. I mean, really, this is just like one, one, one. You know, I don't have multiples of them. I do, though, have a couple sets of Feeling Fabulous because I kind of thought that glow-in-the-dark wavy look uh, would be good for more than just Halloween. Uh, and I do have multiples of Berry Mary. Let me make sure you guys are able to see. Oh, heck yeah. You're able to see. Because I love Berry Mary. I mean, and that's when I'll just continue to collect when I find it okay not sorry not sorry okay 
and these are an empty page basically a room to grow page okay and then I put in one two more room to grow pages and those are some off brand negative space and then also got my little green caddy friend back there and these are Shibella or Shibella whichever pronunciation okay. ooh when is hang on March 20th Spring, yeah, spring solstice, March 20th, we're going to use this. And I know in March, or maybe I could save that for summer. Crap, now i got to think. In March, I'm not supposed to open any new sets, you guys. Damn it. Who made that stupid rule? Oh, yeah, it was me. Well, it's a stupid rule, Stacy. Yeah, see all of these, you guys? Um, it's just like a single set of them. But they take up some space, you know? Oh, word sets. I love you. And there are some sets in here that I question every time I see them. Like solar flare. I wore it. It was fine. But listen. Sunset Boulevard, a million times better in my opinion. So, if that would have been sheer, I would have been popping up and down all over it. But it wasn't. So I'm not feeling pine. I have quite a few of I actually kind of feel like Feeling Pine could go not in the art sets. I'm torn now. But I do kind of think it wouldn't have to be in art sets. This one too. Hmm. <coughs> This is another one I won't feel bad about hoarding the hell out of. Harvest Blooms. I'll wear that till the end of time. I adore it. I want to kiss its face all over. I want to kiss its face right off its face. Uh, another one probably. Although I don't feel like I need to hoard this. I do have two Safari Chic. Um, and... Mojave Turquoise and Show and Shell. Okay, so there's a few art sets I gotta have a few of. But not nearly as many as other stuff. And this is partial pages that are now empty. So here's what uh, was left in the partial stuff, if you guys were wondering. The blueberry set. I mean, because I gotta save that for summer. The cherry set. This is the owl one. This is Snowman's Land. Oh, this one's so good. This is that Tiger Eye one in Cocoa. Um, these are some Sally Hansen. And then, these are my little bunny feet and bunny faces oh I can show those to you because if you were not if you haven't been around as long you might not know them little bunny feet and little bunny faces so saved those you know cookie swap saved 
Valentine's Day saved. Uh, this is just my supply of breaking plaid plaids. See, yeah, I mean, the rest of these were too seasonal for me to use right now, whether whether it was a partial or not, okay? Don't care. I mean, listen, who made this dumb rule? I did, so if I need to break my dumb rule, I can. If I need to break my own dumb rules, I can. Once you're a parent, you can say things like, do what I say, not as I do. <laughs> right <laughs> back me up here you guys no I will do I will do justice to you getting rid of partials even if it meant sharing a bunch with someone who needed them worse than I and hopefully she will enjoy that okay oh gosh this is so much better you guys seriously yeah <gasps> so good and that's just tall ones stay sticking out all right now that girl's ready to um have her day in the sun or in the spring whatever all right now One empty Target bag. These are, this one is an inch and a half. Everybody will be glad to say, see that it's purple. Doesn't it look like supercharged though? You know that's my fave when it's coming to purples. Too bad it didn't have witchy tight, tight stripes on it. One sec, pulling off the thing. Stupid labels they gotta haunt me with. Okay. Yeah, this one is an inch and a half. So, that means what goes into it needs to be, <laughs> you know. I think what's going into it is the glitters. So, I had already moved. This is like a pea green. The other one's like a limey green. I had already moved the solids over here. And look at you guys. All that's left in here is for Sally Hansen. And those are the same color for partials. So that's fantastic. And I know I built in a lot of space in that one for solids to come. So... Let's see what we've got here in the glitter stuff. I've got um, a single finger <laughs> of Honolulu Haze, a bunch of glitter tips from Sally Hansen, this Champagne Wishes, that white one I use at Valentine's Day. Oh, shit. This one is a stunner, you guys. Never would have thought it was, but it's a stunner. And it was so good with those strips with um right with words on them and that's a real red i remember someone saying they had a real red dupe and i don't remember what it was now i'm gonna look back and this is like a partial bloody gorgeous i mean that's it that's fantastic oh no look back here is a partial of only in vegas so Hi, by the way, you guys. I am Stacy. Welcome to my sassy styles. Um, thanks for coming back. If you're part of the same old sassy crew, if you are new here and you find your look at that one, see how it's bent. That's why I'm replacing them before they're fully broken. Um, if you're new and you find yourself returning. Go ahead and hit that subscribe. It does help me out in the crazy YouTube algorithm that rules the world, apparently. Let's see if I can.
can do this a little smoother. Okay, so at the back, blues. Now this blue is a, are they called EV2 I think, off brand, but that blue glitter to me, oh, it was really good. It's like a black background to it and it's a very, it's a very true blue. Swede, Toledo, okay, and now, Scott Topic, Gaelic Greenery, these are also those EV2s, two different green glitters, this one is that very um, Grinch color to me, works good for Grinch nails. And this is one's kind of limey. I won't go through all these until we get them all in, you guys. Uh, solids and glitters are probably more. I mean, not probably. They are for real more where I find myself kind of hoarding stuff. I'll be like, this color's good. Oops, that page isn't empty. This color's good. But this color is great. And if I call it, if I can see it and go, ooh, that's great, I am going to want more than one of them. Especially when there's something I use kind of over and over and over. Which, I don't think I ever just use one set. So, I mean, let's be real. Why would I do that? Okay, so let's see here what we got. Here's our little partials, and here's the spare partials so we can build them back up again. Because you know when March is done, it's going to be on like Donkey Dang Kong. Only in Vegas, Mind Matters, Broadway Glimmer. I do think I need to get one more Broadway Glimmer. I might have it, you guys. Look it. I don't even know if I can take this out without like exploding them all over. Now remember I told you, everything that comes in, I wasn't putting it away. I'm just going to, just going to save it up till after I get my spring stuff. And then we'll do like a reorganization video. But look at that. I mean, and that's not anything to do with spring, you guys. And it's just, I mean... Um, St. Patrick's Day is in here, the new, um, oh, what was it called, Eat, Eat, Pray is in there, and some $5 Fridays in there, I mean, that's just, you know, waiting at the sidelines, so, I might have another Broadway Glimmer in there, because I know I've told myself more than once I should pick up another Broadway Glimmer. It was one I waited a long time to see. I do really love it. Rushing around. Moon Reaver. Fort Worth it. Blank page, because I'm hoping for like more black glitters. A, a, wouldn't like a gray glitter be lovely? And this is probably my biggest, is like the brown section. Down the one Sahara Jewel. But I think I might have some in that stack. And an extra page, because there should be more browns. Um, is this trick or treat yourself? Yeah, see that's the last one of that. But there'll never be, nothing's going to match it for some reason, ever. Heat Wave, Day by Day. This set is lovely, you guys. This was, um, let me make sure I read it. Yeah, it guessed it right. It is Day by Day. It was for MS, I think. And it's got this beautiful gold glitter over it. Not like a shimmer, just an actual gold glimmer. And it's a great 
a great orange. I mean, if you like oranges like me. Night Terror, I keep lots of those because let's be real, it's Night Terror. And the reds. Reddish pinkish. Blushing. What? Who's this? What's your name? Who are you? Moonburst. And Twilight Hour. And blushing. So that needs to be in a different... Oh, I see why I did that now. Because look how close it's cutting it. Okay. So let's... Flip it and reverse it. Okay? I mean, also, those are all Gaelic greenery. Yeah. As it should be. And these are Scott Topic clips. That should be the other way around. Like that. So there is one Twilight Hour. And I don't have a problem with that. And really, do you think this should be in the blues? Kind of does look like it to me. I kind of can't tell, but that's where I'm going to put it. In the blues. Then I can do... Like this. Because Dublin's going to have to go up there when I start putting stuff away. And then over here, I've got... One and four. Beautiful. I liked that one too. Iris down. I did like it. It's, it's lovely. But it reads more pink than purple to me. And then this one was a set I traded with a friend. Anything froze. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But there it is. What's this? For some reason, I kind of get lost in these pinks. I don't quite know. You know, like I know blushing. And I think that's showtime. No. Yes. And the solid one, the not sparkle one, was kissing boot, right? Yeah. I get a bit lost in the pinks. There's going to need to be more pages here, though. That's all there is to it. You doing? Chilean cool. Yeah, I have like one, 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 you know, and that's fine, except not Night Terror. I have a bunch of those. But I am going to have to add in some more pages back there, I'm sure. So there we go, you guys. I'm feeling much better now when I'm making stickers. Um, I can make a new cover sticker for this and then I'll also make one down the side I'm trying to figure out space in my craft room where these could be up on my desk because then they won't because I do have a vent below my desk off to the side that's you know blowing heat in the winter and air conditioning in the summer and I would love to have these up higher where they're just getting no temperature change but I don't know where on my desk because really when you figure you're gonna have four of these that's kind of a space taker you know all right gals and then the one that didn't get changes if you're wondering is this one that says Stacy's Partials, but it's not Partials, it's the decal book. And this has, you know, crap tons of space. It can grow, I'm not worried about it. You know, and these are always just one, one sheet of stuff, so they'll be fine. It's got a little nail tape in here. A little bit of everything, but it'll be fine. So, there you go, gals. 
I hope that was good entertainment for everybody. I can't wait until we get all the um, Easter and spring and then spring and summer catalog and we can go through and do a big put away. Oh girl, it's going to be so fun. We're going to have so much fun, you guys. Okay, have a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.